Hey Stampers, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute treat box um, using the Curly Label uh, Movers and Shapers die that looks like this. Um, I replaced the die that comes with it with one of the holiday shapes. Um, this is the Dove. And what you're going to do is put this in here um, a little bit more than halfway towards the center. And you want to make sure that the Dove is going towards the center. If you were making a card out of it, the Dove would be pointing the other way. So you want it to face this way. Um, and then you just lay your cardstock. I've got a half a sheet of cardstock. It's four and a quarter by eleven. Lay that down on there, just like that. Put it through the machine, and when it comes out, it'll look like this, just like that. And then you pull that out. And then what we're going to do is take this, and we're going to turn it this way, and we're going to score it at one. It's already got a score here at five and a half, and then we're going to score it at six and a half. So it's going to be one, five and a half, and six and a half. And after you do that, that will look like this. So we've got our three score lines here. This one is already going to be there, so you just have to do these two. The one at one inch and six and a half inches. So, then it's just going to fold up like this, and we're just going to stamp it using the Christmas Punch Set. And I'm using the snowflakes out of that set and my Versamark pad. And I'm just going to put those snowflakes all over the front of it. And I got this idea when I was watching the um, Fall Regional DVD that I bought. Um, there was a project on there that was kind of similar to this, but it didn't have directions or anything. So I sat down and tried to figure out how they did it. So now that we've stamped it, um, for the bottom part here, the uh, Winter Wishes, I used a Rebon from the Chit Chat set. And since you only get one of them, uh, one of each thing, I just cut out a different one. So this one says Season's Greetings. And I'm just going to put that right down at the bottom. Like that. And you can use the popsicle stick that comes with it. Um, I like to use a Pampered Chef scraper because that seems to work better. Or you could use your decor element scraper or bone folder. And it just goes on that easy. And then I'm just going to check it out, fold it up. Um, next thing I did was I cut a piece of the designer paper. This was um, one and a half by four and a quarter. And it's just going to slide right up under the little flap that I have there. So I'm going to put that on with the mono adhesive. Oops. Sorry, it's supposed to be snail adhesive. I keep, I've keep i still called it that for ever. So that goes right there to make your little flap. And I did um, do the eyelet border punch on that with this. And I did that ahead of time just to save time. Um, then I took a cello bag. This is the medium cello bag. And I filled it with about 15 or 20 um, Hershey Kisses. And I just folded it over and um, adhered it with the snail adhesive. So then for the inside, what I'm going to do is put a piece of sticky strip right at the very top to hold that in. Usually when I do treat things like this, I staple them inside, but I really couldn't figure out a way to staple it so you wouldn't see it. And then peel that off. And then lay this down in there, and that will hold it pretty secure. And it just folds up like that. And I'm going to do a ribbon. So I'm going to stick the ribbon in here before I seal it. And I'm just going to seal it again with the snail adhesive. So that way it'll pop open pretty easy. You could also use Velcro if you want. And then just slide this up under there. And tie a little knot. And then you want to trim that ribbon with our awesome ribbon scissors. They say craft scissors, but the only thing I use them for is ribbon. And there you go. I mean, that is just so easy. Um, it only takes a few minutes once you run it through the uh, Big Shot die. 
Uh, and just to recap, this is a half a sheet of cardstock and it's scored at one and it comes out at five and a half already scored and then six and a half and then you just fold it up to make this cute little um, gift box. Uh, thanks for stopping by.